As our time in Australia was coming to an end, we couldn't be happier with our experience. But somewhere in between spending time with our boys and in Australia's natural environment, this week surprisingly showcased the good. Oh, yes, the bad and the ugly. And we got to the COVID place and they were like, did you pay online? And I was like, no, I'm not kidding. I've been attacked. Anyway, we decided it was time to update you all on when we'll be setting our sails again. <laughs> hey guys. So we are only a week away from leaving Australia. We're going back to old La Vagabond, as a lot of you would already know, and we're sailing her down to the Bahamas for a new series. Which I'm amped about. I've had enough time to process that. And yeah. like the Bahamas is one of the best cruising grounds in the entire yeah. universe. Yeah. Even though we were super sad to hear that um, COVID has caused more lockdowns in Vietnam and our boat build's been like delayed even further and we just can't be without a boat for so long um, for our mental health mostly. Like we need to get back on the ocean. We're gonna fly back over to her in a week and we're gonna kick off our Bahamas trip with diving with the tiger sharks, which I'm nervous about. I've been making a lot of plans around this. Yeah. So yeah, you'll notice we're in a caravan. We checked out of our Airbnb and last minute we met Sasha who um, watches I met, our show. I met, I met Sasha. Yeah. Sasha came along, he was a fan of the show and he just said, I've got this awesome camper trailer. You can have it for a week if you want. We're running the old golf. Savannah Maxi here. What's that? Is that the model? I don't know. Highlight of the trip so far? Oh, it's going to be the smoked fish, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Riley's addicted to smoked fish, eh? Like, he eats it for breakfast. Got the boys over, we're going to smoke this fish. I had to make a three parts water, salt and brown sugar brine. That's been soaking in this pot here overnight. And then the boys brought over their smoker, which is in the backyard here, which I'm going to go and show you. Now, maestro. <laughs> What have you done? We've got some wood chips down here. Uh, yeah, so this is peaking wood. These chips are soaked for a few hours and then you just chuck them on hot coals and that just smokes the fish. Yeah. Simple as that. Simple as that. I've ordered one on Amazon which should be arriving at uh, Charleston at La Vagabond very soon. Okay. So we're going to be having smoked hogfish. We're really getting into smoked fish. Me and Kate were teasing Riley about it. Actually, I saw a meme at a certain point in in a man's life, he'll either get right into the history of war or smoking meat. <laughs> and that's me. Oh dear. I've turned into a smoker. Anyway, join us for the next couple of days having fun up here before we hop on our flight to the USA. And this morning, I'm actually going to attempt to surf. I haven't surfed since I was a teenager, so the wind is, it's an offshore breeze. I know all the lingo now. This morning is a great time to try surfing. <laughs> Are you going to shred? I'm going to shred. Excellent. Yeah. Second Pfizer shot done and dusted. She actually had to, I jumped the first time when she put the needle in, so she had to do it a second time, which is like my worst nightmare. I hate needles, <laughs> but um, got it done. Feeling very proud of ourselves. This should make traveling a bit easier and lessen the symptoms if we are to get COVID. How are you this morning? Everything sort of changed. It's yeah. good, it feels, feels good. Kate was um, like, amazing, it was sad to see her go, but it's good to, have our little family back to ourselves as well. Because Kate does watch our show. Kate, you're the best. Thank you so much for helping us the last couple of weeks. Yeah. With the babies and making us food and 
You've just been so, so lovely. He oh, enabled us to get a tiny little bit of work done. Yeah. For which we'll be forever grateful. This trip back to Australia has been both of our favourites ever. Usually we only get just enough time to see all the people and do all the things we love to do here in Australia before we're back on our flight to the boat again. Unfortunately, it's the life maintenance that usually takes up most of our time whilst we're back here. But not this time. We somehow managed to have a baby and then go on some epic trips, hanging out with a lot of friends and we also met new ones at the same time. Couldn't have hoped for better, really. We went on another little boaty adventure this afternoon here in the Gulf. We figured the more of these we do as a family of four before we move back onto La Vagabond, the better, to help prepare us for boat life full time again. I'm filming. Oh. Sounds like. I want to show you upstairs, I haven't seen it yet. This is going to be our first stop here in Fremantle on our way over to the boat. We're going to go Perth to Sydney in three days time, we'll be going to Sydney and then hopping on the big flight to LA and holy crap this is so freaking nice. I always have to make a point of filming before Lenny comes upstairs because he ruins everything and it no longer looks great. Yeah, I'd like to get the boat back here one day, I reckon in summer, but then it's also super windy. It's really windy. It would be better if we launched the boat in Vietnam, Elena, it would be better to go Maldives over to Cape Town, then down along the Roaring Forties, Furious Fifties to Perth, and then up the West Coast. Yeah. That would actually be an easier trip. That was Lenny's, wasn't it? Yeah, Lenny's little captain outfit. Lenny's still sleeping in the car, which is parked right out there, we can actually see him and hear him. Riley has to do some work and then we're going down the foreshore here in Fremantle. This is one of my favourite places in Perth. If I was to live here, it would have to be Fremantle um, to see some of my friends with fish and chips and then um, that's about it. Our one day we had in Frio started off with a run where I nearly stepped on a snake, <laughs> followed by mostly organising for our upcoming travel. We probably could have hung out here in this Airbnb for some time more if the excitement of getting back to our old boat had not been consuming us. We packed up and headed to the airport. Personally, I couldn't freaking wait to not be living out of a suitcase anymore. Are you being nice to your brother? 
We got to the COVID place and they were like, did you pay online? And I was like, no, the man, I booked online. The man made me spend freaking 20 minutes with him to put in all my details to book my COVID test. And he didn't tell me I had to pay for it. Anyway, I've got here. Now I have to do it all again online. I was just on the side of the road doing it all and ants climbed up me and they got in my pants. They might be fire ants, I think they're fire ants. And, I, and they got in my pants and Riley drove off so I had nowhere to take my pants off and I was trying to kill them and I couldn't and I'd just been bit on my bum by ants. Well, I got the kids to sleep. Ants in your pants, that's a phrase, isn't it? You got ants in your pants. I actually had ants in my pants. Oh, man. Jeez, babe. This is so <laughs> <laughs> Travelling's overrated, don't do it. We are currently at a drive through COVID test. Got to get swabbed before we jump on our big international flight. Can I hear you? Yeah. I go. quickly. <laughs> Thanks to everyone who helped make our time here so special. Hopefully the COVID situation gets a bit better and we can come back again sooner rather than later. So ahead of us we had a five hour flight to Sydney followed by a 13 hour flight to LA. <laughs> Did I give him a kiss? Elena and I always remind each other before we leave on something like this that we're going to get tired and we're probably going to argue over stupid stuff. Humans are dumb how they malfunction when hungry or tired, especially with elevated cortisol levels from baby screens and sugar high followed by a sugar crash from aeroplane food. If we remind each other of this occasionally in the middle of an argument over whether it would take less time if we crossed the road to go to the taxi station or stayed put and went for an Uber, considering we did have a lot of luggage. And the road was wet, but there were taxis like right there. And the airport internet was flaky at best to be trying for an Uber. We'll actually remember what we had discussed earlier and if we're super lucky, even have a laugh about it. Schmooke. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. We're back on the boat, everyone. <laughs> um, if you're a patron of ours, you would already know that because the videos go out to you guys at least a week early, sometimes more, occasionally a little bit less, which we apologize for. But um, yeah, we love everyone. We love all of our subscribers, but our patrons really are the people that keep this boat afloat. We've been doing live streams, which are really good fun. Whoa. We sort of... That's more like a therapy session for Elena and I, and we bounce ideas off uh, off the crew. So they're really good fun as well. There's a whole bunch of stuff over there. So please do go and check it out. It really helps us out a lot. And um, yeah, thank you. Tune in next week. Back on board our old faithful La Vagabond Du. Wow. We're right back where we're supposed to be. Here she is.